What's going on, Backpackers? Dave here with Off Grid. I'm into backpacking, hiking, camping, and gear. If you're into those things too, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and hitting that bell notification so that you can be aware every single time I post a new video. Today is going to be all about how I pack my pack, and I'm going to be doing another video in the future. It's going to be all about how you should probably consider packing your pack or the correct way to pack your pack, where there's a lot of different infographics that are out there that you can kind of look up and, and Google images, and REI has some material on it as well to kind of instruct you on how to properly load balance your pack so that the weight in your pack is riding um, the way that it should so that you're not getting any crazy pains or whatnot. I'm going to basically tell you how I pack my pack, which is slightly different, follows a lot of those rules, but um, kind of breaks from the norm in other areas. So let me just dive right into that today and uh, let you guys know how I pack my pack. Um, the and I'm basically just going to go through it step by step and kind of show you on screen uh, me packing the pack because I did a little bit earlier today. So the first thing that I'm going to do, and, I, and I'm also going to preface this by saying that this is the way that I'm going to pack my pack about 90% of the time. Obviously, it really depends on what kind of gear you choose to bring. Um, what uh, you know, season you're going to be in, and, and all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of different subtle nuances and variations that can be made, but this is pretty much how I pack my pack the majority of the time. So let's just dive right into it. The first thing that I do is I start by putting a nylo fume, and it's not nylo flume, it's not nylo flume, it's nylo fume um, pack liner into my backpack. It's this really crinkly chip style um, annoying sounding but waterproof and super lightweight uh, pack liner um, in my pack first so that'll go in first the next thing is I'll start with my sleeping quilt and I'll, I'll jam that in there all the way at the bottom and then on top of that, and I don't always pack this, I know in the B-roll here you'll see that I have a packing cube that uh, if I'm not as worried about weight, I'll end up bringing that as sort of just like, you know, an additional option to keep all my clothes together. But if I am worried about weight, I'm not even going to bring that. But the next thing that'll go in will be that cube with things such as uh, socks, undies, um, if you're carrying your uh, puffy, something like that, or um, any of your other mid layers, any other clothes that you want to keep dry. The next thing that I'll throw in there is going to be my pillow. And yes, I have a larger pillow, but I love it because it's super comfortable. And then it's also a compressible pillow, so I don't want to get that wet either. And then I'll also cap it off with my electronics kit, battery banks. Um, you know, if you're carrying a flex tail pump or a giga pump, um, anything else that is electronic based, I'll keep that in a Ziploc bag, but then I'll also put it in that Nylo fume. And then the last thing is going to be my toiletries and other ditties, kind of like your, your ditty uh, bag, um, you know, toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, anything else um, that you might have in that bag. Then I'll end up just kind of twisting that around and then just pulling that down to the front of the pack or off to the side so that if my pack does get wet or I get dunked in a river, then hopefully all of that stuff will stay nice and dry because that's definitely the stuff. Anything with down, you want to keep super dry, bone dry. All right, that's it for everything that I want to keep dry. Now we're kind of making our way to the middle of the pack now. And the first thing that I'll put in closer to my back, so closer to the uh, front of the back, however you look at it, but closer to the shoulder straps, so like right on your back here in the middle of your back is going to be my tent. And then the next thing I have, is, and that's kind of like in front of that or towards the back of the pack is going to be my sleeping pad. I usually don't keep that in a stuff sack. I just kind of roll that one up. And then the only caveat here is uh, going to be depending on which pack I bring. But the next thing that I have in here is that I put my uh, chair in there. So um, whether or not you have a stool or the REI Flexlight Air Chair, or the Helinox uh, Chair Zero, then I'll, I'll put it in horizontally there afterwards. The, the caveat is if I don't put it on, in the main body, then if I have a larger side pocket, such as my Gossamer Gear, the one um, has a really large side pocket, so I might end up stuffing it into my side pocket rather than the main compartment. Really depends on how you like to use it throughout the day. 
Um, the next thing to go in is going to be my bear bag and my food. So the last thing really that I that I put in there is uh, you know either your bear bag or depending on again if you have a larger backpack if you and if you have to carry a bear canister or an earth sack something like that that's always going to go on top for me and the main reason for that and then I also have my stove kit in my my bear bag or my bear canister so all that kind of nests into one bag there the main reason for that is I like to have uh, my food accessible on trail when um, you know I'm I'm hiking on trail because I like to stop for lunch and that that'll be like the first thing that I end up pulling out um, so I have quick access just so I can eat when I'm on the trail and then load up for snacks for later. Uh, the next thing we'll talk about here is going to be that back pocket, that large, uh, usually mesh style, either stretchy mesh or that fishnet style backing. Um, what I start with, and this is closest to the fabric, not the mesh, is going to be a uh, chamois. And that is really just to wipe down the condensation in my tent. And then right on top of that, I have an emergency poncho that you're seeing. You might be wondering what that square is in the B-roll, but that is my emergency poncho. If you have a rain jacket, you can also throw Throw it in that outside pocket as well but I just carry a super light emergency poncho because I normally carry an umbrella with me as well which I'll get to in a second um, so that'll be flat on the back um, because those are the the tallest and the flattest pieces the next thing I'll put in at the bottom of that pocket is going to be some sunscreen um, as well as my poop kit the trowel and some you know like wet white type of stuff um, down there also is going to be my water filtration in a separate bag and also my Kanak Vecto dirty water bag and then I'll also throw my Randy Sun water socks in there for those uh, multi river crossing style days. And then the last thing um, in there is going to be my med kit. The side pockets now, let's go over the side pockets. In one of my pockets, there's going to be uh, my trekking poles. I usually hike with at least one. I usually hike with two for a downhill, but if I do have to stash them, I like to put them in one of my side pockets. Just make sure that you have the tip end facing up and you put the foam handle down into your pocket so it doesn't burn a hole in those pockets. So you don't want to have that happen. Um, the next thing that I do is I do carry an umbrella, usually just for the sun, but it can also be used for the rain as well um, so I'll put those right next to my uh, trekking poles in the other pocket I have a one liter bottle and I also am usually in a high bear traffic kind of area so I'll have my bear mace um, in the same pocket as the water and also have the bear mace with the looped handle facing me so I can easily just reach back grab it and shoot a bear in the face if I need to um, the and that's pretty much it for the, the side pockets there. The next thing I'll go over is going to be the hip belt pockets. And on one side, I'm going to go with just snacks. So I'll have like a Ziploc for my trash so it doesn't get all like nasty in there, but I'll also just carry like bars and electrolytes and, and things like that for quick access for snacks on the trail before I, I stop for lunch. And then on the other side is just everything else that I want easy access to. So it'll be stuff like, you know, a bug head net if the bugs get nasty, my headlamp if it starts to get dark at night and I have to uh, hike on trail and, and have some light at night. You can also stuff things like, you know, body glide in there, anything else that's like smaller that you need to have access to. That's what I put in that other hip belt pocket. Um, let's head on over to the shoulder pockets now and in one of my pockets I just have my water bottle and I have a, a new straw that I'll, I'll put in the water bottle. It's pretty much it. Um, usually comes with you know some, some kind of strap to like hold it in so it doesn't like fly out of your pocket. Uh, and then in the other shoulder strap pocket I have um, my cell phone in one side, it's kind of a divider pocket. I have a cell phone in, in one sleeve where it's just dedicated to the phone so I can easily take it out, take some pictures or some video. And then in the front portion of that pocket, I'll have things like my chapstick, um, as well as like my tissues and um, you know some hand sanitizer if I need it. So just really quick and easy access to the things that I need uh, when I'm on trail. 
And then I also clip, this is sort of like on my shoulder straps, but on the top portion of my shoulder straps, I have a small little REI like face towel that I wipe my sweat with constantly when I'm on trail. And then not pictured in the B-roll, I didn't get this one, but because um, I forgot it when I was shooting it. But I also have my Garmin inReach that's uh, clipped or strapped on the opposing shoulder strap just higher up in case I need to get to that. Um, and then lastly, to round it all out, after everything is done, I, I put it on its back and then I also have um, a back panel and this is specifically more so for um, a, a non-frame pack or a pack that doesn't allow for air to breathe in the back or doesn't have any padding. Um, I end up putting a back panel in it, a sit pad, um, an eighth inch foam pad that uh, really helps with cushioning it so you don't really feel anything like jabbing you in the back when you're when you're uh, you know hiking down on trail. And that's pretty much it. That's how I pack my pack. Let me know your thoughts down below how do you pack your pack I really want to know what works for you that works pretty well for me and I, I don't really have any issues as far as like things tipping from side to side or getting off balance or anything like that everything stays nice and tight and it also gives me access usually quick and easy access to the things that I need uh, most when I'm on trail but I want to hear all about it down below let me know your thoughts in the comments and as always remember if you're hiking off grid make sure you do your research and you make it a safe one I'll catch you guys on the next one